How are we going to do that? It's by using a simple ingredient that everybody knows about, everybody has eaten it at least once in their life. If you want to find out how, stick around and I'm going to show you. Now let's get to cooking. Alright, we'll start with cutting the onion. I'm using a combination of green and yellow onion. Now I hate when the cutting board is trying to run away with my food. So to stop this from happening, use a damp dishcloth or kitchen towel, place it underneath the cutting board and that should get you sorted. So I diced one green onion and about half a medium sized yellow onion that I had in the fridge. You can just skip the green onion, but I like it for the fresher flavor. For a total of 50 grams of onion. Next up, let's chop the mushrooms. I'm using 400 grams of brown button variety that I washed and removed the stems. Contrary to popular belief, the myth that they are a sponge and absorb a lot of water was debunked by Harold McGee in his book Curious Cook all the way back in the 1990s. Also, there's no need to peel the skin off either. Wash them with water and as Alton Brown said it recently, nothing bad will happen. Next up is the spinach, which I soaked in water to remove all the dirt, then ran through a salad spinner to remove all the water, which if you don't have one, I highly recommend getting. Just look how much water I removed. Now bring all the leaves together like in the beginning of a chiffonade cut, then roughly chop them up. I used about 150 grams, but it's spinach, you can just add as much as you like since it reduces to almost nothing as soon as it hits the heat. Now we have all the elements we needed to move on to the stove. Oh, just one more thing missing, which is the pasta. That's 120 grams of tagliatelle. Start by bringing to a boil the water we're going to use for the pasta. Moving on to the pan, add 1 teaspoon of avocado oil or any other oil you prefer. Turn on the heat on medium low. In my case, I'm using a wok burner, so that's why I had to turn it all the way down. Place all the diced mushrooms and add a big pinch of salt, which helps with bringing out the moisture. We'll saute them for about 8 to 10 minutes. Once all the water is out of the mushrooms and in the pan, we're halfway there. Just continue cooking it. At this point, you can add some freshly ground black pepper and keep sauteing them until all the water in the pan is gone. We don't want them completely dry though, so when they look something like this, then you're ready to take them out of the pan. By this point the water should be boiling pretty nicely, so add a generous pinch of salt, then add the pasta and let it boil for 1 minute, less than what the package says. I just like them al dente. Now back to the pan. While on medium low heat, add 1 tablespoon of avocado oil, then all the yellow onion. Saute it for 1 minute and add a pinch of salt. After that we can add the green onion and 1 grated garlic clove. As the onion starts to get a slight bit of color to it, we're ready to add the spinach. Mix it up with the onions and make sure you keep the onion moving so it doesn't burn. After just one minute of cooking it, we're ready to add the mushrooms back and mix them all in. Time to check if the pasta is done. Alright, perfect. So take the vegetables off the heat and drain the pasta. Now back to the pan, I tasted the vegetables and felt like I needed a bit more black pepper. Now, here is where the magic happens. Remember, the heat is off and we're ready to add the secret ingredient that will turn this into a sauce, which is 150 grams or about half a cup of Greek yogurt. I use the 0% fat version, but it works just as well with full fat version. The key thing for this to work is that it needs to be at room temperature, so make sure you have it out on the table before starting the prep work for the dish. Mix it all up with the vegetables, then add the pasta. You can also add a couple tablespoons of pasta water for thickening the sauce. Now transfer it in a plate and sprinkle some flaky salt and as much hot pepper flakes as you can manage.